Hey folks, welcome back to Whistle Thicket. That's her dog barking in the background. I gotta put her up. Um, We're entering our honey in the state fair this year, the Mountain State Fair. Bubba's over here. Come here, Bubba. Here's my little boy. This kid loves getting apples from our apple tree. Every time we pass the apple tree by the barn, he has to grab one or two of them. I think he's grabbed about 30 or 40 apples so far. Well, that's okay, I love him. He can take as many apples as he wants. So here's the competitions I'm entering in the Mountain State Fair in uh, Western North Carolina. Ooh, this is really good sour wood, light honey. So I got three bottles of that. Um, you have to have three bottles, um, at least for our state fair, and they have to be um, 14 ounces or bigger, I believe, and this is a pound. So here's my uh, light honey entry of the sour wood. I think this could win it, people. I don't know if our honey's the best honey. I like to think it is, but uh, you know what? This contest might tell me if it's some of the best honey around. That crazy dog. So that is for the light honey competition. For the dark honey, now I don't know if this is dark enough. This is my wildflower honey. Um, we do get dark honey with tulip poplar, but that is a really hard honey to get, just pure tulip poplar. This probably has some tulip poplar in it, but we have so many other flowers going at that same time. Um, right, this is that dark honey. It is hard to get just straight tulip poplar where I'm at. So I don't know if that's even gonna be dark enough to qualify. I hope it is. Here's that dark honey again in another jar of it. But tulip poplar is really dark, and I don't know if they're looking for dark or what, but hey, I'm gonna enter and have some fun. And then I'm also entering the cut comb competition. So I got these Ross rounds here, and I'm really excited. I think these are beautiful. Um, will they win? I don't know. But again, you gotta have three of these to enter, and they judge each one, and then I guess they kind of, uh, take an average of your scores for each one it should be pretty exciting though um, I drop them off tomorrow it's about an hour and I don't know a 20 minute drive for where I got to drop the honey off and then I go back in a week or two and they do the judging and my daughter is actually doing the chicken competition uh, she's entering her silkies and then she's gonna enter the showmanship competition so I'm gonna keep you guys updated I'm hoping that my sour wood could win it because I think it's beautiful. I don't know though, we'll see. There may be some uh, tough competition out there. But hey, it's all for fun. And if we win a ribbon, hey, I like ribbons. Ribbons are cool. So uh, yeah, just check back and uh, keep watching her channel. I love doing updates on how uh, family life is going and how the honey's going. Um, I may get another uh, small harvest here of goldenrod, which is actually my favorite honey it's a really rich thick honey uh and i just love it but it's really hard honey to get around here so uh yeah just stay tuned and uh in about a week and a half i'll let you know how the state fair went mm -hmm. 